there's a boy sat in his dark room and he's looking at his PC. His account name is Femboy69. And as he's scrolling on social media, TikTok, Instagram, he's seeing all of these really feminine guys, a lot of feminists saying that masculinity is bad. And he's starting to think, okay, well, maybe masculinity is bad. Maybe I should become more feminine. No, Femboy69, no, don't do it. But it's too late. And then there's you. You're on self-improvement. You're aiming to improve every single day, even if it's just 1%. You're going out training, going to the gym, meditating, having cold showers, you're improving, becoming the best version of yourself. You are staying consistent and not giving up. Hey, let me tell you a story. Gather around, boys. We're talking about some masculine shit here. Let me tell you a story of something that happened a couple hours ago. I woke up and, you know, I had food. I went out on my run, on my morning training. 20 kg weights in my bag. I'm meditating. I'm running. I'm doing push-ups two and a half hours into my run I get to this tree and I start put, I put on my protective gloves and I start punching away I'm literally pounding at this tree to the point that my hands hurt I'm punching hard I'm really into it I start sweating and then I in the middle of this I start to feel as if something is staring at me as if something is staring at the back of my neck so much so to the point I start to feel literal chills across my spine so I turn around covered in sweat and I see a pack of horses a pack of like 20 20 horses not wild but they're not like riding horses they're just horses someone's looking after so they're not really trained with humans much but like a pack of 20 odd horses you know and they're kind of close but not really they're kind of far away kind of looking at me but they're a bit like cautious and I'm like oh that's sweet and then I see in front of me that there's one horse not with the pack standing away from the back this big giant muscular brown horse and it's staring right at me and i'm staring at it back every time this horse takes a step the rest of the pack follows and i realize that's the leader and then i realize something else i'm in its territory right now and that horse is staring at me it's confronting me now i've never ever been in this situation before so I have no idea what to do. I'm literally sat there, standing, staring, confronting this giant horse that's walking closer and closer. It's literally meters away from me. And I don't know what to do. I'm thinking, okay, right. If you gotta be careful here, because if you make the wrong move, you are literally, you won't wake up to see tomorrow. Like it's kind of like getting to this kind of dangerous situation. So I think back. I always have like a flashback to a conversation that I had with my dad. Almost as if my life is flashing between before my eyes. I have a remember a conversation a few years ago with my dad. My dad used to train animals. He used to train dogs, birds of prey, and he used to ride horses and train them. Now, now I remember asking my dad, what do you do when a horse, a male horse is not liking you and he's confronting you? What do you do? And I remember the things that my dad told me, the words that he said. So I did the exact same thing as him. I turned away from the horse and it's quite close to me I turn my back to the horse and I literally scoff my arms and I go back to boxing now I'm not thinking about the tree at all like I'm shitting myself I'm thinking about this horse that's like literally behind me and I'm like okay this horse it could literally kill you at any moment like <laughs> I'm literally just thinking about like what my dad said your dad said to do this this is what you do this is how he, he trained horses this works believe in your dad and I'm literally like a couple minutes go by and I'm sweating, not out of like exhaustion, I'm sweating out of fear, but also a little bit of excitement. And I turn around and you will be genuinely shocked at what happened next. So what happened next was incredible. I turn around to see what the horse is doing and it hasn't moved. It's stayed in the same place, except it's now not staring at me. No, 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 no. It's kneeling. It's not kneeling, kneeling, but it's like, it's like bowed its head. It's bowed its head in respect. And I'm sat here thinking, eh? The fuck has just happened? <laughs> How has this actually worked? <laughs> the horse has shown me respect. It's kneeling its head, bowing. Now, the reason this works is because what my father told me, the words that he said, is that a horse, right? 
A male horse, they are very beautiful, natural creatures. If one is confronting you, you know, over territory, they are masculine beings, they are masculine animals. If you confront it back, it will confront you. It won't, like, pussy out. You will get into a confrontation. And obviously, I don't know about you, but if I went against, like, a giant horse that weighs, like, a ton or something, and it's, like, full with pure muscles, yeah, I'm not winning that. I am dying. I If I get into a confrontation with that, I am going to lose. <laughs> it is going to hurt. <laughs> However, what my father did to train his horses is when he turned around and he scoffed his arms, right, showing its back to the horse, it's almost as if you're saying, I am bigger than you. Your problems are beneath me. You aren't even worth my time. Now, horses are very, very smart. They understand this. And they kind of think, oh, shit, okay, right. It's not even bothering to, like, confront me. And that's why this worked. This is how my dad used to train horses for literally, like, 10 plus years. And this worked. The horse knelt. It bent its head bowed. Not even that. When I tried to leave, right, it started to follow me. The exact same thing that what happened to my dad. Like, my dad was telling me this story, and after the horse would follow him. So it's kind of weird, like, literally thinking, what literally happened today, four hours ago, is a day out of my, out of my dad's life. I literally just lived a day of what my father lived. It's kind of like, it was a magical moment. It was fucking awesome. And uh, I then tried to pet the horse, and the horse kind of like, that was a bit too much. The horse kind of all backed away. So they're all over there now. You might hear them a couple of times. I'll show you at the end of the vid. Um, but they're all over there now. But it was an amazing, amazing moment. Yes, I was terrified. You know, it's been a couple hours now. I'm a bit shaky still. And literally sat down and I just kind of thought, fuck, shit. Like, it was terrifying. But also the most testosterone boosting thing I've done in a really long time. The most masculine feeling thing I've done in a while. It felt amazing. The adrenaline was pumping through my veins. Does this sound like something out of a movie? Yeah, probably. Because this doesn't happen. Nowadays, this never happens. This is something out of my dad's life, his generation. And my dad's like 66, so he's a part of an older generation. This isn't something that happens to modern day men. Now, I'm not saying to go out and confront horses. Please don't do that. You will get hurt. If you're looking out for a fight, you will probably get one. Don't do that. This just happened because I didn't see these horses and it just happened to like, this just happened to happen. This situation, I wasn't looking for it. It was just, un it was like a coincidence, right? But what would you have done? If you clicked on this video, you're a modern day man. There's a chance that you've probably got a lot more feminine energy than you would like to admit. What would you have done in this situation? Would you have ran? Maybe. Hey, look, two years ago, I would have run. I would have run with my fucking hands like this, like full on pussied out. I would have ran and sprinted out of there. But the horse is bigger, right? And I'm in the middle of the field, so, like, there's no, like, fences. So I'm, like, in dead center of their territory. If I ran, that horse would have literally got on its back two legs and ran after me. And the horse would have come up to me and be like, oh, Bitch boy, what do you think you're doing? No pussy out on me. What the fuck? <laughs> and then I would have died. Like, <laughs> like, the horse would have come up to me. So that wouldn't have worked. Um... So that, that's, well, you can see, like, how I was genuinely, like, thinking, all right, this is literally, like, fight or flight. This is literally a death situation. Or at least, like, a, I'll get heavily injured. And then I kind of sat here thought, Sean, Wilder, you literally confronted a horse, a masculine, big horse, and you fucking won. It bowed its head in respect to you. You came out on top, just like your father did 20 years ago. How... Amazing is that? That's awesome, right? That doesn't happen nowadays. Modern day men are a lot more feminine now compared to my dad's generation. You know, and you've probably seen that I'm kind of, I'm going through a new era of my life right now. I'm literally in like a new chapter. Like I've turned the page and I'm on chapter zero. I'm starting afresh, like a new book. You know, I've moved back home. I'm not in the town. I'm not in the city anymore. Um, it wasn't really a city, it was more of a town. But I've now moved back home with my dad. And you can probably tell because I'm recording out with this nature stuff again. And uh, that's because my dad lives in the countryside. I've literally moved back home. I was renting like a single room. And I'm 
going out training every single day. You've probably seen me like post on my YouTube shorts, training every single day like an anime character, meditating, training, running with weights in my bag, punching this tree, getting better at fighting. I'm literally training every single day out in nature rather than the town. And then when I come home, my dad will be up. We'll sit outside in our two chairs, both of us with a coffee in hand. I've got a black coffee, my dad will have a latte. And we'll literally just be talking father to son. It's that, I feel like I'm going for a new chapter. Genuinely, like I've kind of gone back to my roots. I'm not posting daily on these long form videos, but I'm posting weekly on just way more meaningful, more edited, way more passionate stuff and putting in a hundred times more effort and you know posting daily of me training so you guys can still see something i'm genuinely so grateful to have like a masculine father i'm in a new chapter of life and i'm thinking about getting a dog like a german shepherd like a big fluffy like german a big german shepherd or like a husky i'm thinking of getting a dog to go out and travel like not travel but like go out and train with me so in, a, in like you'll see in the future me training with a german shepherd i'm probably gonna name it chester you're gonna see me training boxing meditating with a dog by my side how awesome is that i'm literally going through this whole new period of my life my dad he's uh he's a he's an entrepreneur he's an artist right and he's quite a successful one um if you search up his name he'll probably come up it's like jonathan wilder with my surname so He'll probably come up. He's in Amsterdam right now and he's opening up a new gallery. He's quite successful. So I'm really grateful to have a masculine father who is taking care of me. I'm really grateful. I know that some people don't have that. I'm sorry if that's the case. Now, the first thing that people are going to say from this video, you know, maybe from a commenter who's literally got the tag name, like account name, Femboy69. Maybe he'll comment in this video. I don't know. It's just a dude that I made up. Uh, but... There's going to be someone saying, like, you know, oh, yeah, feminine, femininity, horrible, ew, fuck that, like, masculinity all the way, fuck feminine, uh, fuck feminine energy. I don't agree with that either. You know, I, I don't believe in that either. Like, I love feminine energy. Just me, being a feminine guy, it doesn't align with my goals, my purposes. I know a lot of guys who are feminine. You know, modern, ba modern day men who are feminine, some who are gay, they've got different goals. They're the same as us. Like, there's no need for us to be like, oh, fuck you. No, that's dumb, right? They've got their own goals. It's just that me, if I was a feminine guy, that doesn't align with my goals, my purpose. Imagine right now. So you're probably, this is, this is why I created this channel, to help other young men who also don't want to be feminine, who also have their own goals, different goals. And that's the people I want to help. Basically, a younger version of me. And uh, maybe maybe you are that younger version of me. So maybe you're like a guy, a young man who's like 15 to 18, right? I want you to imagine this. I'm a bit older, right? I'm a bit older than that. But this that's kind of the age I started all this. So I want you to imagine it's 20 years down the line and you did it. You are a masculine man who's financially free, created that business, literally doesn't have to worry about money ever again. But... He has that feminine wife. He doesn't hate feminine energy. He loves it. His wife is feminine, caring, loving, loyal, supports him, but also you support her. You support each other. You've got your own kids, your own house, and it's quite a big house, you know, a lot of land. It's the morning, you're all up early. You've got a coffee in hand, and you look to your left, and your wife is there. Your kids are out playing in the fields, and then you go to school. Doesn't that sound like an amazing life? You see, my goals, right? I want to build and improve now. I want to improve now, so I'm literally building up for my future family. That is my end goal. Helping as many other young men who are like me achieve their goals. Improve at least 1% every day just to become the best version of themselves. That's my goal. If I was a feminine guy, that wouldn't align with my goals at all. That'd go against it. I don't hate feminine energy, it just doesn't align with my purpose. I know a lot of guys who are feminine, you know, and a lot of guys who are gay, and they are lovely people. But they've got different, way different goals to me, and they're pursuing it. I respect that. I don't respect people who are giving up and just not pursuing their goals anymore, taking the easy route out. And I want to help those men. You know, literally, like, I have a friend, right, and we're on self-improvement, he's been on self-improvement for a year now, and uh, I've been on it for like two plus 
we met like a couple months ago and um, I saw a couple old photos from him during college, so it's quite a few years back. He was literally like a femme boy. He was literally a feminine man, but he was more like a, he was more like a woman, right? Short hair, um, but like every photo that was taken, he was like sticking his tongue out like, like really feminine energy. And if you looked at him now, you would think that they are two different people. He's jacked, shredded, got so much fucking confidence. He's grown out his hair, but he ties it up like he's, he literally, and he's got curly hair, so he literally looks like Aquaman. Like, he, you would be so proud of him now. But that is the problem. Majority of modern day men are feminine. Maybe it was because they were hurt. They go into a relationship, they ended up being a little bit more feminine, and then the girl breaks up with them. And then they hate feminine energy. Maybe some people are going through that. And if that's the case, I'm sorry. But the majority of men, modern men, are more feminine. Not super feminine, but maybe they're more feminine than what my dad's generation was. You no, know, the stories I heard from my dad when he was 16, he literally ran away with his first love and they ended up marrying at like 16. He pursued his mission, his artist dream. It took a couple years, like 10 years, but then he then started to realize this was his mission. He's pursued it and became successful. I know that that doesn't happen anymore. A lot of men nowadays aren't anywhere near like that. You're watching these videos, and if you've been watching me for a while, you're probably different. You're probably in the top 10%. But maybe there's still some feminine energy that you want to not have, and you want to pursue your goals better. You don't want to be such a feminine man. You want to become that dream goal, that dream life that I said earlier. You want that to become true. So how do you become more masculine in this modern day age of 90% of feminine men? How do you become more masculine? Pursuing your mission. More importantly, stop getting distracted from your mission. Look, like I said, I think the biggest turning point listened to my dad's life, like he was 16 and they, him and his first love, they ran off together and you know, he was living in a literal caravan, he was a carpet cleaner, then after a couple of years, he found out that he loves art. He did it as a kid, he was gonna go to art school, but he got dropped, he got kicked out. So he decided to pick it up again. Started selling a lot more, made his own business, took a while, but it got there. He pursued his purpose and he was good at it, and then he did it. He literally had one of the richest houses um, from kind of our hometown, and he basically did it. He had kids. He was turning in over a million a year. He then, some stuff happened and he lost it all. Um, but now he's making it back up. You know, he had me, like, it, it, it's kind of a lot of family stuff. I don't really want to get into that. But either way, my dad has lived from literally making millions to flat out broke living in a carrot. But the one thing that made the difference is him pursuing that mission. Right now, maybe you don't know your purpose. I'm not going to lie, it is kind of hard to know. It is hard. It is hard to know what your mission in life is. Hey, it might change. Right now, my mission is to help other young men like me improve now for their future families, like I am. But uh, in 10 years time, I might become a mixed martial arts champion. Who knows? Like, maybe I've reached 100,000 subscribers. I will never stop doing this, by the way, but maybe I fulfill my purpose on here and I want to become a mixed martial artist. I update and show you guys. Your purpose can change. But however, there is one thing that I know that if you don't know your purpose right now. There is a hard task that you have been procrastinating. There is something that you have been procrastinating that you know you need to do that you don't want to do. That goal in mind, maybe it's get more shredded, but you don't really want to go to the gym today. Maybe it's revising for those A-levels, revising for that business A-level so you can actually, you know, get some knowledge, but you don't want to revise. Maybe it's eating healthier, but you kind of want to eat that junk food. Maybe it's going out on that run, meditating, but you're so comfy in bed. Pursue that goal. Getting over that mental blockage and actually doing it, especially when you don't want to. The amount of masculine energy and testosterone you get from that, from overcoming that mental challenge, is incredible. And how you feel when you are pursuing your goal, when you know that you are actively doing something towards your goal, your mission, that hard task, you feel incredible. You feel incredible and amazing. And eventually you will find out your purpose. You know, your goal right now, maybe it's become shredded. Instead of not going to the gym today, you go. 
You go, whether it's 30 minutes or an hour. You go, you stay consistent, you don't give up. Even if it's the shittiest workout of the day, you still went. And who knows, you might have a better workout tomorrow. And it looks, you do, you end up do. In a year's time, maybe less than that, you get the dream physique, you're shredded, you're literally got biceps like this huge, right? And they're defined. Yesterday I had a I had a friend who knows a lot and he's like jacked, he's massive. And he's training me now, he's put me on like a nine week program. So I'm, I had the biggest pump yesterday, so he definitely knows his shit. So I'm feeling like good right now. Right now I'm kind of going through the gym part of my life, the physical. And maybe it's the same for you. And you reach that goal. Then maybe you start to focus on mental health. You start to read more about meditation. You start to read more about gratitude journaling or just journaling. And you start to practice it more. Maybe then you decide you get really good at it. You get amazing at it. And then you decide, all right, I'm going to help others improve their mental health. You don't know what your purpose is right now. But I can guarantee you by pursuing your goals, you will find it eventually. You can't go backwards from pursuing your goals. You can only go forwards. There's also another thing. I know that, you know, I have a masculine dad. He's 66, like, I think he's 66. He can't remember and I can't remember. But he's like in around that age. So he's an older dad, but he doesn't look like it. He looks like he's in his 40s. He's still working with quite heavy stuff, like heavy bronze metal statues, grinding away, making molds out of clay. And he's got arthritis in his hands, but he's still doing it. He's still doing it and... I have a very masculine dad, you know, when I was going through my first breakup, my dad, uh, he gave me some time, but after a while, he literally came in my room, got me out of bed, and I was like, basically really depressed, and he said, get the fuck up, you're helping me lift this statue, and at first I was like, dad, how could you, I'm going through my first breakup, it was like, it was like a year, like, what are you doing, after I helped him lift, I felt so much better, well, a little bit better. But that was still made a huge difference. I didn't realize that that's what I needed. I'm glad to have a masculine father. I'm not rubbing this in, bragging about this, by the way. I'm going to lead on to like, what I'm about to say. Sorry if that's what it sounded like. I know that a lot of people don't have that. You know, I genuinely think our father's generation right now, that's the last of like, the masculine generation. Fathers now, they won't ever have a problem using technology. We've come to a new age. And it makes me worry. Because I know a lot of people now that they didn't have masculine fathers. Maybe their father wasn't even around. You know, every divorce, like 80% of marriages end up with divorce. And 90% of the kids go to the mum. Kids shouldn't be with either one parent. Kids needs to have both parents. A masculine father figure and a feminine mother figure. Or nowadays that can be the other way around, I don't know. But, um... For my goals, I want to be the masculine. You need both parents, but 90%, that doesn't happen. And uh, if that was the case for you, I'm sorry. I really am. My mum and dad are divorced. So I I do get that. I live with my mum first, and then I live with my dad. I do get it. I'm sorry if that's the case. But there is something you can do. Not all is lost. Is to find your brotherhood. Maybe your family right now is a bit torn apart. But you can still make choice and choose your own family your own brotherhood never ever neglect your family right even if you things are really really tough well sometimes like sometimes like your mom might be like a full-on like drug addict and like abuse the shit out of you um and isn't showing any signs to quit yeah that case you can probably distance yourself a little bit but like you should always try and reconcile with your family you know my dad first wasn't around and my mom was strict shall we say I ended up hating my mum and moving to my dad, but then it took a while, but I eventually rebuilt that bridge with my mum, and I felt a lot better out of it. At first, I never ever thought that would happen. That's a whole nother video, I'm not going to get into that rant. But right now, you can choose your brotherhood. You can make a choice of men that you can surround yourself with. Other men who are like-minded like you, who you know will challenge you to become better, whether you like it or not. You're tired of the bad habits. You're tired of giving in to the addictions, scrolling endlessly on social media, eating junk food endlessly, not actually caring about your mental health and not caring about your physical health. You're just eating away your problems. You aren't going to be like my dad or like what I did and confront the horse, confront the problems. You're going to run away. You're going to run away from those issues. You want to surround yourself with men who will challenge you to become better. 
You're tired of the bad habits. You want to become the best version of yourself. So you choose your masculine brotherhood, other men who are like-minded like you, who you know that will criticize you to become better, that will challenge you to become better. I know this, you know, my brotherhood, it's only like three of us, right? It's slowly increasing a little bit more, but I go to the gym with these two other guys, and I know if I go to the gym with these guys, I will have a way better gym sesh than I'm by myself, because I know that they will challenge me to lift more, whether I like it or not. I may hate it at the time, but after I feel better. You can choose your brotherhood. You are the average of who you surround yourself with. So who are you surrounded by right now? And that is why I'm creating this very channel. To build up a following of other men who are like-minded. Who are like-minded like you. If you got this far in the video, then you definitely want to make a change. You are tired of the bad habits. I'm building this channel. So we can have a community of people like you. Like me. Man, I just got lonely. I just wanted to build a fucking building my future family. That's why I'm creating this channel. Well, that's why I started it over a year ago now. Been doing it for a while. Welcome to the world of family. I hope this helped. I really do hope this has helped. And as always, if you're starting to change, you just want to make a start, but you have no idea how to improve. This channel, this community, I will do everything I can to give you all the resources so you can start, so you can start on your own journey for your future family. So subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And more importantly, stay consistent and don't give up. Ah, <sighs> man, if today feels good. I, I paid for a thumbnail editor and I'm also now getting animators um, for this video. So uh, I'm super, super excited. You know, this is... This is a new era, a new beginning. Anyway, you know what time it is. Come here, self improvement gifts. By the way, I forgot to record this. Um, these are the horses like over there. I don't know if you can see them. Like, I might have to change the settings. Uh, that's a couple of the horses over there. Not all of them. Or more of them are that. Not that way. That way. Um, but yeah.